Yes, everyone, the title is not clickbait. There's a question mark in it. I mean, come on. Changed my mind. Anyways, so today, with the assistance of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, we are going to dive into a little bit and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel and how it can impact, change, and even be incorporated into, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So... This is going to be a cool little video. We're going to be diving in a little bit, talking about what is an Xyz Summon. How do you perform it? Um, a little bit about Yu-Gi-Oh! Zaxel, the anime, the OCG, TCG, the, you know, the whole format, the whole shebang. And uh, can it come to Duel Links? That's probably a big question on a lot of your minds. 5Ds just dropped not too long ago. And a lot of you are already speculating and excited for the release, well, the potential release of... Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel in about a year's time from now if they stay in line with their past two big releases which were of course Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and recently 5Ds. Now 5Ds brought a Synchro Summons and a lot of you that were not familiar with anything beyond GX which is understandable that's where a lot of people kind of dipped off and then the new generation came in and they were brought up with Synchros and maybe Xyz. Uh, Xyz, and then the new generation after that kind of came in and was brought in with like the pendulums and so on and so forth with the current link summoning so a lot of different you know varying generations that came in and out between you know the lifespan so far of Yu-Gi-Oh and I know a lot of you came to Duel Links for the nostalgia so a lot of you may or may not actually stuck around with Yu-Gi-Oh long enough to kind of see synchros so I noticed a lot of people in my comments section on a lot of the 5D's videos, especially the leak videos before they came out, and they're like, what is a Synchro Summon? What is a Synchro Monster? What is a Tuner? What is this white card? I'm so confused. I'm lost. And what's really cool is now we're going to be doing the same thing, except now with black cards. Uh, we got our white cards, and now we got our black cards. And no, we do not have green cards yet. Give it time, guys. Social Justice Warriors... Be damned! But, <laughs> but, anywho, so we're going to be discussing a little bit about how Exceed Summons work, um, how they're a little bit different from Synchro Summoning, different from Fusion Summoning, etc, etc. I did a duel against myself. I put together a uh, Beast Warrior deck, as you can see here. Alright, hold on. So we got two copies of Gladiator Beast and all. We got three copies of the Quarry. And we're running two copies of Darius. I tried to use only cards that were available in Duel Links already. Outside of the fact that I added, of course, an Xyz Summon monster that I just threw in there. That would work with the deck. It's nothing special. This is better for a Fire Formation purist deck. But it is what it is. And then we're running, of course, one copy of Mermillo. I set up the deck as if I was going to run this deck with Balance in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So I'm running the 8-6-6 format. As you guys can see, we are running three copies of Super Rush Headlong and three copies of Gyoku because I just feel like, you know, being able to shut down that back row would be pretty cool. And the reason I'm running a lot of Beast Warriors is the setup for the XC Summon. Now, if you're running a Glad Beast deck, even with balance, you're not going to be running these particular monsters. You probably won't run more than one Darius if you run Darius at all. You're definitely going to probably want to run two Mermillo and you're going to want like BCRE. You're not going to run Andal at all. This is just set up because they're Beast Warriors and I need them again for my Xyz monster, so keep that in mind. We're running two Trap Hole, we're running two Canadia, and we're again running Tenkin because he also fits well. Of course, Tenkin fits well with our Xyz monster yet again, so I was just trying to make the deck make sense logically and not just making it just for the pure idea of just bringing out this monster. But you guys get the idea. So... Let's go ahead and jump into our replay. That is the deck list that we threw together. I'm keeping it again, all Duel Links format. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Now, let's go to watch the replay. I believe it was our final replay up here. Uh, right there you are, sir. Right? Yeah, I'm losing my mind. So let's go ahead and load up the replay. Let's go ahead and pause this right here. Okay. So... As you can see, I'm playing against myself. We're running the same exact deck. Um, and this was, of course, a playtest setup just so I could showcase some of the things we can do here. So we opened up with all Glad Beasts. Let's go ahead and keep going through. Let's go ahead and let me summon my monster, my Laquari. 
And then I summon um, another glad beast, set on my back row just for why not. Okay, now right here, I can now summon one of my four, my level four beast warriors. So we're going to go ahead and do so right here. All right. Now this is where exceed summon monsters are different than a lot of the other summoning formats you're used to, especially if you've never heard of these monsters before in your life and you're new. So this is going to be kind of a, de a developmental tutorial type of experience for you. So cool. Let's enjoy it together. So if you look here in our extra deck, because exceed monsters do take up your extra deck slot. So in duelings, you know, we only have spot uh, slots for five. So you got to be very careful with that when you are making exceeds monsters. Now, a lot of people are kind of convinced that if exceeds monsters do drop, we're definitely going to need more than an extra deck slot of five. But honestly, I don't think we will because... We're only running a 20 card deck. We're not running a 40 card deck. So your options to get out these monsters are going to be pretty limited as it is. And I also feel that if this does come to Duel Links and we do keep the 5 extra deck format, the 20 card format, the low life points, that it'd probably be best that we keep it at 5 anyway. Um, and it can work. You're just going to have to start getting used to, especially if you're a TCG or OCG player, you're just going to have to get used to running more, I'd say, lower level exceed monsters instead of the higher ones because of course the gameplay in duel links is just so fast um and the more more broken cards we get the faster it's going to be so chances of you getting two or three or four or well you can't get four of course because we're in a speed duel format but if you're trying to get multiple like level five six and sevens or even eights quickly um depending on what kind of special summoning uh support that we get for various archetypes it might be difficult to do that in Duel Links because Duel Links already has a lot of cards that can deal with just getting a Synchro Summon off. And Synchro Summoning um, is already just kind of being dampered down or hampered rather, kind of on a crutch, if you will, because of cards like Canadia, Floodgate, um, you have Econ Takes, which are disgusting. You, I mean, there's just so many different options that you got to deal with. Um, that can cause you problems currently with synchros and I feel exceed summons will have the same issue um, When we do eventually probably get Yu-Gi-Oh's Exile But if they add more cards to kind of allow for us to push through that Then it'll be fine, but I still feel that we're gonna be focusing a lot more on the lower the lower I'm sorry lower rank We'll talk about what rank is in a moment. So we're going to be focused more on the lower rank exceed monsters, probably compared to in the TCG where you're probably going to be running a lot of higher level ones because you can, you have the time and the setup to get those cards off. While in Duel Links, you really don't, at least not yet. So, I mean, that could change. But if I was to release Zexel today, I would probably focus more on the lower level, the lower rank monsters than the higher ones. All right, so now that we've talked about that and got that out of the way, some of you are probably wondering, what am I talking about when I say rank? Well, um, if you look on the top left of your screen, you can see the card that we currently have. It's Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Tiger King. He is a four-star, but it's not a four-star level. It's a four-star rank. They call it rank. Don't at me. It's Konami. So... Instead of calling it a level 4 monster, it's a rank 4 monster when you're referring to um, exceed summon monsters, okay? That's just, hey, that's not me. That's what, they, that's what they call it. Now, how do you create such a beast? I'm just playing. This isn't one of the better monsters, but how do you create it, right? Well, if you look down in the description, it says it's a monster effect at seas, XC, sorry, beast, warrior, and fire. Rank 4, 2200 attack, 1800 defense. It's an archetype. Of course, it's Fire Fist archetype. You need two level 4 beast warrior type monsters. Sometimes you don't need it to be a specific monster type or even a specific attribute. Sometimes you do. Sometimes it'll just say you need two level 4 monsters, two level 5 monsters, three level 4 monsters because some of these do require three monsters. So, that's going to be a thing. Now, where the argument comes is a lot of people are worried that some of the Xyz monsters that see play, um, or people would like to see play, require four monsters or five monsters, which, of course, is impossible in the speed duel format. So, I don't know if they'll do kind of what they did to the turtle 
um, and kind of make you know change its effects slightly to work for Duel Links. But if they did that, they'd probably also have to kind of hit its effect because those monsters are meant to be hard to summon, so their effects are really, really powerful. So if you make them easier to summon, especially in a low life point format like Duel Links, and still let them remain, you know, maintain their broken effect, you can see a lot of problems. So they'd have to definitely figure out what they're going to do with that. Maybe Duel Links will extend to a, uh, a 5 zone format at that point or maybe we won't see Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel in Duel Links and they'll make a du a Duel Links 2.0 or something or a new game or they'll make an additional mode specifically set up for that where you can play in the speed duel format or the traditional five zone format so yeah I don't know a lot of things to talk about that's why I made this video I thought it'd be really cool but so we've kind of talked a little bit about all that good stuff now let's actually perform the Xyz Summon so to do so, it says we need two level four. So if you're making a rank four exceed monster or a five or a six or a seven, you need however many of that same level as required. So if I have a level 10 exceed summon monster, I'm going to need either two, three level tens on the field. And they have to be face up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and perform it. With all that said, a lot, lot to take in, I know, guys. So as you can see here, we just exceed summon the monster, exceed summon our, uh, our Tiger King. And you'll notice one thing right off the bat that may confuse you. Why did my monsters not go to the graveyard? They did not go to the graveyard because they actually become detachable materials. They are now detachable materials. They are not counted as anything on the field. They're not monsters on the field. They're not even treated as monster cards. They are literally and strictly called detachable materials. And they sit underneath of your Exceeds monster and can be used with whatever the Exceeds monster's effect is. They can even be removed depending on what other effect monsters have on the field that could, you know, you know, that could remove um, detachable materials and send them to the grave or send them back to the deck or what have you so they do not go to the grave they sit under the card and then the card can use various effects like uh, for example our fire king has an effect here uh, let me pull it up here once per turn you can detach one exceeds material from this card negate the effects of all face-up effect monsters currently on the field except beast warrior type until the end of your opponent's turn so if I needed to you know negate an effect I could just remove one of those two cards from the bottom of the Xyz monster and it would go of course to the graveyard so it's pretty cool just a little bit different definitely different in regards to what you're used to with fusion summoning when you fusion summon materials um, they don't sit underneath the card same with synchros same thing so it's definitely a new summoning mechanic that you may not be used to this is we're going more into modern day Yu-Gi-Oh here at this point so it could be a little bit different to a lot of you especially if you've never watched like I said past like 5Ds um, in the anime or played beyond that of course in a TCG or OCG so very cool stuff there so that's a little bit about what that does and then of course we can activate the effect and grab out our Gyoku on summon because of its effect and then shut down a card, and then etc. etc. So it's really, really cool. XC summons is not hard at all to do. I don't think we're going to get really into the complicated stuff until they release pendulums. But of course, in Duel Links, how are you going to do that with only three back row? That at that point, they would have to do something different with the game. But that's for another video way way down the line. I just wanted to showcase a little bit about XC summons, a little bit about it. Um, how it works and let me know in the comment section below do you think that we're going to get Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel in Duel Links even though there's a lot of cards that would not physically work in the speed duel format do you think they'll change those cards up like they did with the Crystal Beast the turtle I keep forgetting his name I'm sure you guys will shame me in the comment section below I look forward to it um, or do you think that they'll just leave those specific cards out? Or do you think maybe they will extend the, the board to a uh, five zone format and make it either another additional game mode perhaps? Or they just make that the new permanent thing? Or do you think maybe the, we'll just have to wait to play Zexel on the game 
that of course takes Duel Links' place in the next year or two. What do you guys think? Let me know and I'll be glad to read all your comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a full video about what do I think about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal coming to Duel Links. Can it work? I think it can. It can work in the three zone format. It can work with 20 card decks. It can work with the five extra card zones. It's just Konami is going to have to be very, very uh, smart with what cards they release to not be too broken. You know, they have issues with balancing in this game, as you guys know. And I think that as a player, especially if you're coming from TCG or the OCG to Duel Links, um, you know, you're definitely going to have to probably expect to see more of the lower rank exceed monsters than the higher ones that you may be used to seeing um just to better fit the play style of dueling to how quick it is and how you may not have enough time to get the bigger level monsters out you know keeping in mind if we don't get more support for special summoning in this game so we'll have to see when that comes if it comes let me know in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys all later i hope you guys all enjoyed this cool little video idea that i did um I wanted to use just a background and just flap some cards at you, but I thought, you know what? I think a visual representation of kind of how things are laid out would be better done using Yugo Pro. So I hope you guys do appreciate that as well. Comment below, like I said. Subscribe if you're new. Become an Impact Player today. Join us in the Discord, and I've been enjoying using Yugo Pro in a lot of my content lately. I hope you guys have too. And if so, drop a big thumbs up. Right there on that like button. Get that sucker up there really, really, really high. And I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, peace.